historical moment is here. Our kids will be in a very, very difficult place if this proposed bill gets to the place of being passed. The multitude of policy provisions in the bill are not based upon evidence-based research or vetted best practices. They appear to be based upon a political philosophy. I'm a school board member in Northfield, Minnesota, and we have um, all sorts of challenges with our school budget right now and just finished some cuts. And we're, we're trying to just sit, use every dollar right to the classroom and to our programs, and it's just getting squeezed tighter and tighter all the time. Well, most immediately it would mean for my kids that their class size would go up significantly. They're already in overcrowded classrooms, and it would be a significant increase again. Well, I think the only way, and especially to preserve education, is we've got to do it equitably, and we would have to raise revenue on people who can afford it to help educate our children. With, it, with this bill, capping the federal, uh, the the special ed funding means to pay for our mandates we have to dip into our general operating dollars so that will make us have to maybe cut um, teachers who teach electives or cut sports programs or cut other things so it actually takes money away from lots of other students for a service that absolutely is mandated. We oppose this bill in its current form because it does not benefit all of Minnesota school children. The legislature can and it must do better.